Hi guys, I'm Maureen Dunlap and I'm standing here in front of the Golden Belt Art Studio. I'm going to take you inside and show you some of my work and talk about each thing a little bit. I'll see you there. Here we are inside the building and my studio is up on the second floor. Here we are. Let's go inside. Here's my little home away from home. And I have to say that most of my recent work is still hanging at the Mad Hatter restaurant, which because of the pandemic has been closed. So I'm going to show you some of this work, which is older stuff and then i will put together a montage of the other uh, pieces that are at the mad hatter some of you may know that i've got a little bit of an obsession with magnolia flowers i don't have a magnolia tree in my yard but if i ever have the opportunity to paint a few of them i bring them home and put them in a vase and take a photo shoot lots and lots of photos because by the next day, they die. They also have a most beautiful fragrance. Anyway, this piece is called Southern Charm. And if you're interested in this piece, please drop me a private message and let me know. Um, it includes the frame and it's a very traditional piece, would look great in somebody's uh, formal dining room or living room. This is the first magnolia piece that I did, and it's called Southern Magnolias. It also has a traditional frame. The size of this piece is 12 by 16 inches. And if you're interested in this one as well, I think it would make a great addition to your formal living room or even a contemporary room just to give it a little bit of an eclectic feel. Long before I was a floral painter, I did lots and lots of portraits. Um, this is a picture of my son, Trevor, my oldest child. And I did this from a photograph, obviously. Uh, you can't, well, not obvious maybe, but that's what I did. That's what I normally do. And I, I'm really, uh, I was captured by the backlighting of his face in this picture. Um, so anyway, I, Pretty happy with the way this one turned out. This one is my middle child, my oldest daughter, Colleen, and it was from a candid shot that I took while we were visiting the Breakers, which is a mansion in Newport, Rhode Island. We used to live in Newport, my children were all born there, and I just really liked the composition of this photo that I had taken and I really think I was able to give her that look of just kind of waiting in line waiting to get into the place and just uh, a look of uh, contemplation maybe the name of this piece is Esperando which is Spanish for waiting and this is my third child my daughter Roxanne my youngest um, she is living in New York right now um, and I just was really captivated by this photo that she had uh, taken of herself or someone took of her. And I'm drawn to the way the eyes look at you and that the lips are slightly parted. I always love that look on a person. It kind of reminds me of the pose from the girl with the pearl earrings in Vermeer. Um, this is a little looser of a style for me. It's more of an, it was done a la prima, which is all painted at one time. And that's pretty much all I can say about this picture, but it looks just like her. Um, it's a really good representation of Roxanne. 
This is my most recent wave painting. It's called Winning Lineup. It's 18 by 24. Uh, I haven't done many more waves lately. I've been more concentrating on the flowers, but uh, these are all taken from pictures when I went to various places, the Outer Banks, Hilton Head Island, Charleston, uh, some of the other beaches near where we live. This one, I, I always like to get pictures and do paintings where I can see a lot of sparkle, as you can see, and highlights in the wave right there. It's, for me, it's all about contrast and making things pop. And the way I achieve that is by keeping the values of the painting fairly low at the beginning. And then at the end, I bring up certain parts that I want to really um, be accented. Again, this one's framed. Any of these that you see with a frame is available with the frame. This next painting is called Spring Fling. It's a 16 by 20 oil on panel. It's available with the frame. And it's not in the, actually uh, secured to the frame, which is why you can see it's got a shadow there. I have to actually put it securely into the frame. But I just was, I always try to play, uh, play with words a little bit and you see the little hummingbird having his little spring fling with that magnolia uh, branches. That's another type of magnolia. I used to call that the tulip tree. Here's another recent one that I did during the lockdown. I did this from my home studio. It's, um, as you can see, it's a picture of some hydrangeas and a butterfly. And the name of this one is Blues Traveler. I happen to hear my son mention that song the other day. And as I was trying to think of a name for this painting, I realized that's it, Blues Traveler, because of that butterfly traveling around. But again, this is a 16 by 20 available with the frame. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so that you can be the first to know when we post new videos.